What is up, heroes and villains? JT here. Uh, today's like October 17th or something like that. Got another <clears throat> comic book uh, update for you guys. And excuse the blue teeth. I look like I've been uh, pleasing a Smurf or something like that. But actually, I've been eating um, some Halloween cookies. So, you know, you know how that goes. Drinking some cold L8. Anyways, I want to show you guys. My comic pickups in the past, uh, I guess this will be the past two weeks maybe. Hit up a comic or our comic shop, and uh, also there was a like a uh, outdoors uh, festival type thing going on in our town this past weekend, and there was a, <clears throat> a few vendors set up with uh, comic books. So uh, picked up a few, but let's just uh, go ahead and show them instead of blabbing. How about that? Got Batman four thirty seven. Part of the year, excuse me, <clears throat> part two of four of Batman Year Three. I had some of the other parts of these. This was a buck, and the guy that sold me this, his daughter was a manga. Uh, I don't know if she's a writer or an artist, but he was telling me she was she had a published manga, which was pretty cool. He had a bunch of old, uh, or you know, eighties dollar issues, so I picked that up off of him. Add that to the Batman collection. Next few are some of the. Comics I got from the shop the other day from my, my pool. Got Aquaman number one, and this is by far one of the best of the 52, in my opinion. I think they're going to do really good with this. Um, Aquaman's finally going to get his uh, due, I think. Um, <clears throat> you know, they're actually going to show him being an awesome superhero. So that's pretty cool. I like the, the direction they're going with Aquaman. Picked up Action Comics number two. Still wasn't uh, as pleased with this one as I would hope to have been, but, you know, that's neither here nor there, but hopefully it gets better, but I don't know, my friends liked it, but I didn't really care for it, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to stick with action or not, but, you know, it is what it is, Superman just starting out, so, you know, who knows. Next up here, we got Swamp Thing, issue number two, now this was awesome, I, like, I really like the direction they're going with this, so... Uh, with, you know, showing the multiple Swamp Things and all that. Sorry if you guys haven't read that yet, but uh, just gave a spoiler, I guess. But I really dug where the, uh, the direction and the art, and this was amazing, too. So, uh, if you guys are Swamp Thing fans, definitely check that out. Hop on board. Next few are some back issues that I've picked up. This is Usagi Yojimbo number two from the second series. Put out in the 90s, I think 93. And you got Leonardo on the cover there. This is a little uh, three-part story where, or I don't know if they're in the first issue or not, but the Turtles uh, team up with Usagi. And this was a really, really good uh, crossover, I guess. Usagi and Turtles kind of went hand-in-hand hand back in the day. They appeared in each other's comics and cartoons and all that stuff. Even Usagi was in the Turtles action figure line, so... I'm definitely starting a collection of Usagi. I want to get the first series, too. Our comic shop has a bunch of the first series. I'm going to pick those up next uh, next go-around. Picked up issue number three. Love this cover. Um, Turtles yet again there. And these were actually pretty graphic for uh, from what I w would have guessed they would have been. Uh, Turtles getting hurt and killing people and stuff like that, you know, and Usagi. Pretty good comic. I really enjoy it. And next up is issue number one of the Turtles from 93. Now, I'm not sure if this is the second volume or the third. I believe it's the second. I think that's Mirage, is how you say the, the company. That's the same company that put out Usagi. They did it the Turtles in the 90s. And maybe the 80s, too. I'm, I can't really remember. But uh, I haven't got to read this issue yet. This is in color. Um, looks pretty cool. I like, the artwork's different, but it's pretty cool. And the next few are from the uh, TMNT Archie's, uh, Archie series, uh, TMNT Adventures. This is issue number eight. You got Wingnut, I think is his name, and Screw Loose, or vi uh, vice versa. <laughs> uh, but I haven't got to read these. I, I used to read these all the time as a kid back in the day, so look forward to reading. I'm definitely starting a collection. I got maybe five or six issues of this now, so it's getting there slowly but surely. We have issue number 23, pretty cool cover, 
issue number 28. Got some kind of dragon guy on there. I'm not really sure who that is. And, and this series introduced a lot of the uh, toy line from the 90s. Um, a lot of characters showed up in this comic that came on the toys, like Ray Filet and uh, I think Ace Duck was in these, maybe. Just a lot of the characters that you've seen in the toys. <clears throat> and we got issue number 31. I used to have this one as a kid, but uh, I got all these off my brother-in-law. Actually, I traded him some comics for these. So, can't wait to read those. I'll probably do that after this video. Next, got this for two bucks. Um, I've been wanting to read this issue for a long time. And this was at the flea market type deal. And uh, this is issue number 25 of the 90s X-Men series, or second volume, whatever you want to call it. Or after the team splits, or, you know, the title split or whatever. But this is the issue where Magneto rips Wolverine's uh, <clears throat> skeleton out, his, uh, his metal skeleton right out of his body. And I've heard a lot of, a lot of people talk about this issue. It's got that great 90s artwork on there. Can't wait to read that. Um, this next up here is a, uh, I guess, trade paperback, if you want to call it, or a graphic novel. And this is volume three of the original uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic. And this is amazing. I found this at Half Price Books. It was only ten bucks. And the artwork in these old Turtles comics is just phenomenal. I mean, can't say enough good stuff about it. And if you look closely on the cover here, you have... Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, but I think it's Cerebus, the Aardvark, I think's his name. And that was also an independent comic that, I think it's the longest running independent comic uh, ever, I, I do believe. And I think it ended finally, but I really want to check out some of issues of that guy's stuff. Uh, from what I read, it's pretty crazy. Uh, really different. But the Turtles team up with him in one of the stories in here. And this was really cool. This was a really good read. I really enjoyed that. Can't wait. I can't wait to find... Well, they're supposed to be re-releasing the volumes of those, but I can't wait to get one and two. And the next up, one vendor at the flea market had a box of uh, 60s, 1960s issues. So I was totally stoked to find these next few, and I got really good deals on them. And uh, this kicking off my Amazing Spider-Man collection is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I'm, I've always been a big fan of Spider-Man, and especially Amazing Spider-Man from the issues I've read. I've got the... Uh, Spider-Man Essentials, or Amazing Spider-Man Essentials Volume 1, but this is issue 68, pretty good shape too, covers, and um, this one's staple was a little bit loose, I think, but other than that, it was a uh, good condition, got a really good deal on it, and uh, next up is issue number 69, this one is in pristine condition, I mean, no folding on the corners, there's no uh, indention or anything, and the colors are really great. Really cool cover too, Kingpin on there. Really enjoyed this uh, this issue, 69. Thought that was really cool. And last but not least, the uh, Save the Best for Last. Flipping through the box, and uh, I've never really been a huge fan of this character. I don't really know a whole lot about him, which, I mean, I know the story. I know his origins and all that, but I never really read any of his comics or anything. And he got, He's getting kind of big nowadays, but I was happy to find this, and this is uh, Green Lantern issue number 8. Um, from the first series and haven't got to read this well I read the first few pages of it and it's got me kind of anxious or excited I guess to, to kind of get into Green Lantern I know I heard the movie sucked from a few people but I'll check it out and uh, you know I'm, I'm probably going to get into some more Green Lantern so that's it for this video this update thanks for watching uh, I got a shout out video coming real soon I've been saying that but I got a lot of new subscribers on here a lot of good comic book friends and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do a whole video dedicated to you guys because uh, some amazing dudes on here and that's pretty much all I've been watching here lately I know I still I'm still into DVDs and all that stuff but comics have been my my uh, my thing here lately but but like I said I'm gonna do a shout out video to all my my new friends so stay tuned for that thanks for watching guys peace